Does your dog have itchy, gunky, smelly, or even painful ears that don't seem to get better? You're not alone. Dog ear infections are one of the main reasons people take their dogs to the vet. There are safe and effective remedies for dog's ear infection treatment that you can avail. Here we will discuss how to manage your dog's ear infection. Don't go anywhere. What's up guys, my name is Doc Fertzresho. Every week we post videos, cases, topics, and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. And this week we are going to talk about ear infections. But before we proceed, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get updated for whenever we post new videos in our YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Doc Fertz Animal Wellness Center. Please do follow us there. We are also on Instagram, Doc Fertz Animal Wellness Center, and Fertzresho, that's my personal Instagram. Okay, have you ever woken to find that suddenly your dog's ear are red and hot? He's probably shaking his head in response to the pain and feeling of fullness in his ears. When your dog has red and hot ears, you need to identify the underlying problem and use the appropriate short-term treatment. Otitis externa is the most common diagnosis for dogs with red and hot ears. This is the medical term for ear inflammation involving the ear flap and ear canal, but not the inner or middle ear. People call it an ear infection, but allergies, not bacteria and yeast, are the most common and always the underlying cause of red ears in dogs. Why are my dog's ears red and hot? So, hepatitis externa kasi, it's not a primary disease. When your dog's ears are red and hot, it's usually related to some other underlying problems such as number one, environmental allergies, which is the most common cause. Food sensitivity, ear mites, very common here in the Philippines, even in healthy dogs. Foreign object in the ear, quite common, and hypothyroidism. So what are we looking for? What are the signs of ear infection? While an ear infection is not always obvious, there are some They'll tell signs that your dog might have an ear problem. Number one, ear is warm or hot and red or dark pink. Meron din some means of red bumps and or scabs inside the ear flap. Makikita mo yan kasi nga kinakamot nila tapos nagsusugat. Crusty, crusty stuff build up in the ear canal. Mangitim-gitim parang coffee grounds. Sore or red spots on the inside of ear flap where the ear folds in floppy ear dogs. Minsan meron din increased ear brown or gold or greenish wax visible on the outer ear canal. Makikita mo yan. The sound of, at minsan, kapag when you massage it, the sound of liquid in the ear canal when the ear is scratched. Makikita ko. It's like that. No? You will also uh, smell a noticeable odor from the ear canal. Medyo funky as our white brothers would describe them. Isa pa, dog doesn't want you to touch his ear. Hahawakan mo minsan, mag-growl, o kaya iilag, kasi masakit yung tenga niya. It's, of course, needless to say, the dog will scratch its ear on side of the face with the foot. Makikita mo, inaabot niya dito, minsan nagsusugat din dito sa, pas- sa pisngi. On the cheeks, dog licks paw after scratching his ear. Other dogs show interest in the infected ear by licking sometimes. Minsan, may ibang aso din, nalapitan nila yung aso and then they will lick, lick the ears. If you notice that, pacheck nyo yung aso nila. Also, you will also notice sometimes rubbing side of the, na, kinakamot nila yung side of the face on the furniture or on the ground. Ikakaskas nila dyan. And, minsan din, ear will drop on one side. Meron parang uh, uh, torticollis or uh, an even yung, yung, yung head niya. No? Let's talk about how do dogs get ear infections. A few bacteria and yeast are present in all dogs' ears. Meron yan talaga. But they don't normally cause a problem. The trouble starts when inflammation increases the moisture or decreases the pH and decreases air circulation in the ear. Let's just say a dog with allergies gets a hot, sweaty ear 
and the microorganisms that are in there already go crazy. Too many yeast and bacteria cause more redness, heat, and pain in the ear. Finally, dogs with normal ears don't easily get ear infections naman from swimming or bathing. Normal ears can handle a little water but adding water to an already inflamed ear can make things worse. So what are your veterinary ear infection treatment? Number one, ear cleaners. Very important. Ear cleaners are liquids used to remove the goo in a diseased ear. Sugat may may luga, may madami discharge. No? Many ear cleaners like Epiotic also contain salicylic acid which has a mild antimicrobial effect. Other ingredients in the in ear cleaners may include soap-like compounds to break up the wax, antibacterials, acidifiers, and antifungals. Ear cleaners are used as a preventive measure for dogs with chronic otitis externa. Cleaners are sometimes effective in treating mild otitis. Moderate to severe otitis requires stronger medications. Okay, so ito yung ear cleansers. Now we have the ear cleanse and ear wash with tea tree oil. Kasi mabango siya. We also have epiotic. For some antibiotics that we use, we have uh, the Orison. And for ear mites, we have the ear medicide. And also, I like using Sinalar and uh, other uh, antibiotics. Antibiotics or antibiotics for ear infection that's available in the market. Cleaner like this one, uh, and then cotton's. That's it. So first, flush you lang sa tenga. Fill the whole canal, no? All right. Ano sa makita mo medyo lumalabas na siya? You know, it's almost already coming out like that. And then squeeze. Well, this one doesn't have any ear uh, problems, no? Kapag dahil wala naman siya ng ear infections. Sometimes this is painful, so... Ingat na lang tayo. No, you will hear a squishing sound. Yeah, that's it. That's when you know you're in the ear canal. So the next one, don't let go. Hold the ears. And then flush it. Ganyan, ganyan. You might need an extra pair of hands to help you hold the dog, especially cold. You will hear that sound, though. And then, let him shake his ears. Again, shake, shake, shake. One, two, shake, shake. Go, shake, shake. Wipe mo lang yun nandito sa labas. You'll see all the dirt, like that. Mm-hmm. Very good. Kung ano na tinatanong sa akin, is, pwede ba mag mag gumamit ng cotton buds? You can use cotton buds dito lang sa labas. Don't poke it dun sa loob ng ear, ear canal, no? Dito lang sa labas, yung mga dito. Not on the ear canals, okay? Kasi lumabas na yung mga dumi dito sa labas. Number two, combination product or ear ointment. Drops or thick gels are the mainstays for removing the symptoms of ear inflammation. There are many products available in the market these days from Otomax, Orizon, Otibiotic, and my favorite, Sinalar. They all contain antimicrobials that kill a wide array of bacteria and yeast. The other important ingredient is a long-acting corticosteroid that decreases inflammation and wax production. However, may side effects yung dog ear drops. Most standard ear medications aren't safe to apply in an ear with a ruptured eardrum. A ruptured eardrum exposes the neurological tissue responsible for hearing to anything dripped into the ear. The biggest thing most people don't understand when it comes to ear infection is that eardrops are not a miracle cure. In fact, combination ear medications like Mumetamax and Otomax can cause serious problems, including permanent deafness. Although that's fairly uncommon, thank goodness. Actually, just about anything put into a diseased ear may cause hearing problems. Chemicals and antibiotics present in eardrops can cause temporary or permanent damage to a dog's hearing. For example, amidoglycosides like gentamicin can cause deafness even if the eardrum is not ruptured or intact. Gentamicin can also cause symptoms of vestibular disease. Vestibular disease makes a dog dizzy and unsteady on her feet. 
So, meron bang home remedy for dogs with ear infections? Yes, we can. What we can do is, number one, avoid allergens. Check for food allergies. Identifying environmental allergies is tricky. But it's a bit easier to identify food allergies and sensitivities. You can start by feeding your dog a truly hypoallergenic diet. Ask your vet about it. We always do this uh, uh, during tests or challenge for atopic dermatitis and food allergy. This usually needs to be a prescription diet from your vet to make sure there are no protein contaminants in the food. Even if your dog can do a prescription diet, you can simplify your dog's diet to include only one protein source. Fish, halimbawa. Fish is a good choice as most dogs haven't eaten much fish before. Plus, fish has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids which can help fight inflammation caused by allergies. We veterinarians recommend that uh, you feed a hypoallergenic diet for at least two months. During that time, you must not give your dog any foods that are not part of the hypoallergenic diet. If the symptoms improve, you can challenge him with one potential food allergen at a time to identify his problem foods. Control inhalant and environmental allergies. Identifying inhalant allergens is more difficult. In most cases, skin or blood allergy testing are the best ways to find out which pollens or environmental substances are bothering your dog's ears. Usually, ito, kinukuha natin yung blood, pinapadala natin sa Singapore. No? And once you have identified your dog's allergens, how you should treat them? Well, immunotherapy, allergy desensitization with injections is effective for most dogs. But it is tedious and expensive. Kaya hindi to natin ginagawa dito sa Pilipinas. People interested in a natural approach to health often have qualms about manipulating a dog's immune system. Or you can opt to treat inhalant allergies in a more general way by decreasing exposure through environmental control and avoidance will help. Even a simple bath a couple of times a week can help by removing dust and pollen from your dog's skin before it causes an allergic reaction. Some dogs have such severe allergies, their owners opt to treat them with strong anti-allergy drugs like prednisone, apoquel, and cytopoint. While these drugs can effectively remove symptoms, they have a strong influence on the entire body. I personally do not recommend relying on drugs alone as a sole means to control allergy symptoms. It has to be a holistic approach. So how do you treat a dog's middle ear infection without the vet? So for mild ear infections or mild inflammations, home remedies can ease discomfort until you can see a veterinarian for more specific help. If there's a lot of debris in the ears, you need to clean it out. Cleaning every two to three days is usually adequate. So when you need to clean your dog's ears, use uh, soft cotton balls and stop if you see bleeding. Man. He will shake his head after uh, after you apply the liquid in the, or the ear cleaner. The debris will be slung out without any help from you. So gentle wiping is all that's needed. Then clean out the debris. The debris. A green tea ear flush, you can use that. No, green tea has an anti-inflammatory action. So what you do is you boil a cup of water and steep a green tea bag in the water for 10 minutes. Allow the tea to cool down room temperature. And then you pour enough into each ear canal to fill it at least half, halfway. Okay, matakot. No, ilagay nyo lang sa tenga. Massage the base of the ear if your pet is not in too much pain for this. Gently blood excess liquid with soft cotton and avoid wiping or pushing and scrubbing. That only makes things worse. You can also use saline solution. And sterile saline solution is the gentlest liquid to use for cleaning your dog's ears. Don't use contact lens solution, ha? Apply according to the directions for uh, the green tea flush. Sundan lang natin yung ginawa natin yun. So, when do you need to seek veterinary help for red and hot ears? Hopefully, yung mga home remedies mo maging effective naman and you'll see significant improvement. But if your dog's uh, red and hot ear symptoms don't resolve within 10 days, take your dog to a veterinarian. However, if symptoms resolve but return within a few months, get help from the vet. For severely painful ears, skip yung home remedies and go straight to your veterinarian. 
because it is not worth possible permanent damage to your dog's hearing just to save a few dollars on vet care. Plus, your vet will help you sort out the underlying cause of chronic ear infections so you can avoid them in the future. Ear inflammation or otitis externa is common in dogs and cats. The most common cause is inhalant and food allergies. Focusing on killing microorganisms can lead to chronic, untreatable otitis externa. To achieve long-term freedom from otitis externa, concentrate on the big picture. Improve the overall health of your dog with an excellent diet. Avoid allergens. Take walks with him every day. Simple, but not easy. For more information, please visit us at any Dog Farts Animal Wellness Centers, UP Town, Timogor North, etc. And if you live near Cavite area, we have Wax and Whiskers along Silang, Aguinaldo Highway. Or you can log on to www.dogfartsawc.com. And before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This has been your vet, Dog Farts Retro. See you again next week.